basically to, you know, before this, but, um, so what I do is compose collages in sort of an intuitive manner, and then I recreate them with gouache and graphite, and um, I'm really interested in symbolism that's pulled from a variety of cultures and times. I'm really into anthropology and psychology and uh, how we create meaning. Um, I think it's really fascinating how everyone has a different relationship to everything in the world. So um, those egrets there um, were regarded by the ancient Egyptians as um, the bringers of light. So I like to teach myself all these strange things that um, I do as I research um, the symbolism behind the images that I choose. So this image here I kind of see as like a, a body. So the squirrels actually make the face and there's the rest of the body. Um, I made this piece after reading um, a book about, oh, a Black Elk Speaks. So he was really into um, the bisons and, um, oh, she's going fast. Okay, <laughs> cheetahs are the fastest animals on four legs and they don't stalk their prey, they just attack them. So um, I'm really interested in big cats and um, putting all sorts of imagery together. And we have a puma talking to some irises floating around here. I'm really interested in the dreamlike imagery and um, just experimenting and seeing what can be made from um, pulling imagery out of different magazines and old books. Here we have some crystal light flowing out of the sides of uh, jungle scenery here with uh, Amy Sedaris's mouth. Um, okay, this is kind of like a duality of my inner personality, I feel. So um, we have this crazy puma going on here and then the lonely flamingo. The eye eye, um, it's uh, an animal from Madagascar and the people who live on the island um, think that these animals will crawl into their beds at night and pierce their hearts with their long fingernails. But, um, here we have uh, an image of a bad dream. We have some nematodes, par parasites, and uh, the same egrets again. There's the owl protecting the Asian women and their naughty monkey that put the bananas on top of the owl's head. But he doesn't mind. Okay, I love penguins. I watched March of the Penguins and I cried and so I wanted to have a lady who was uh, doing a performance for the penguins because they just freeze their butts off all winter long and I don't know how they stay alive, really. And uh, here's the mama bear with the little baby bear who's being all crabby and throwing a fit and the mom is just like, oh my god, it's a crabby little baby bear. And, um, this piece I, I tried to save um, from failed pieces. I put them together and cut out a bunch of extra flower petals and I don't know, I guess it kind of reminds me of Alice in Wonderland with the singing flowers and uh, there's a lady communicating with her cat that died. It's sad, but it happens. <laughs> favorite animals and this is me hiding in the bushes and I'm like sending them love energy through a bendy straw so they won't get scared <laughs> and run away. And uh, this is like a, a floaty octopus and he has a big zit on his forehead and there's this friend up there, it's a little possum and he's trying to make them feel better and saying like, oh nobody even saw it, it'll go away. <laughs> and, uh, this is a boy, he's crying and the deviled eggs are a symbol that kind of mean like family and nurturing and um, nostalgia to me, so they make me happy. And I thought if I just covered this boy with deviled eggs, it'd be 